Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. I have a bag full of goodies to try from South Australia. I've got four bags of men's stuff to try. I've never tried it before. We don't have it here in New South Wales. Men's crown mints. I do love good mints and I always keep some in the car. Let's have a look at these. It says all natural ingredients using only natural colors and flavors. Is there an easy way to work? Oh, hello. Oh, they're quite big, chunky mints, aren't they? And they've got a beautiful embossed crown on there. Oh. Mmm. Really nice mints. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to pretend it's not in my mouth. Really nice powdery mints. Are they hard? Yeah, they're pretty hard. I'm not going to chomp into it anytime soon. Um. Oh, yeah, I am. But actually, when you chomp into them, they're not that hard. They actually flake apart really quite easily. They're really nice mints. Probably shouldn't have started with the mints. Now I've screwed up my taste buds. Oh, well, carry on. Men's white fruit shops. It doesn't really say what kind of fruit these are. So as you can see, it's got this beautiful white chocolate on them, and they're quite a decent size. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about these ones. The inside of it's a little bit like those apricot chew things. It tastes like apricot to me. So when they say fruit chocks, Oh, it says fruit chocks. I think I said fruit chocks. I don't really know if I like the white chocolate with the apricot filling stuff. Mmm. Oh! Now I'm getting used to it. Oh, I don't know. I really wanted to enjoy these more because I do like white chocolate, but the white chocolate with that fruit stuff inside is quite crazy sweet. It's a big taste to get used to. Fruit chocs, I'm guessing that these ones are going to be the same as the other one, but just with a milk chocolate on the outside. Right, okay, so here are the fruit chocs, they're little round chocolate balls. And there's that filling again. You can actually see it better in this milk chocolate one. It works much better with the milk chocolate, in my opinion. I actually really like these. I can't believe we don't get these in New... Why do we not get these in New South Wales? If you haven't had it before, it's a little bit like those apricot squares you get. You know how they pass those off and they pretend they're candy? Well, this is a way to have it with actual chocolate surrounding it. The chocolate on these is nice and smooth and it's quite tasty. Look at me, loving them. Men's Raspberry Chocs. I am looking forward to these ones the most out of all the men's stuff. Show you. And they look very similar to the other ones. Oh! Yes, I found my favourite. So it's got a beautiful smooth milk chocolate on the outside and then the inside it's like a jelly gummy candy. Really yummy and tasty. Lovely flavour of raspberry through it. Oh yeah! Yum! Next up I've got some Beer and Bird products and I've got three different things here. I've got a raspberry jam, a tomato sauce or ketchup, and this one which I'm not really quite sure how I'm supposed to use it. It's Worcestershire Chutney. It's the secret to Tim's brekkie roll, whatever that is. I'm going to try these two things on a sausage roll because I don't know what else to put it on. Let's try the tomato sauce. I'm just going to blob some of this out. Hello? Ooh. Yeah, what am I doing? Let's just smother it with it. I'm trying the tomato sauce. Oh, the colour of it's quite nice too. It looks like a natural tomato sauce. A lot of the tomato sauces are weird and red. Tomato sauce really should be more of a, like an orangey colour, I suppose, because well, tomatoes are orange. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so let's try it. Mmm. The tomato sauce has quite a nice rich flavour to it. It's got a nice balance of salt and acidity. I can taste apple in it. <laughs> I think some people do put apple in tomato sauce if I'm not wrong. Am I making that up? Oh no, look, it actually has it. It says that it's tomatoes, onions, apple, sugar, vinegar. Yeah, there's a little bit of spiciness in there as well. It says spices and garlic. I can't really taste the garlic in it, but I can taste spices in it. That's a really nice tomato sauce. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite tomato sauce is. Worcestershire chutney. It's a nice consistency actually. Look at that. It smells lovely and rich, like a rich, rich barbecue sauce. This probably does not really go on a sausage roll, but I just didn't know how else to try it. Whack that on there. Wow, this got chunky bits in it. What are the chunky bits? Is that a sultana? What's that doing there? Oh! Oh, 
hello. That packs a punch. It's got a lot of spice in there. Oh, I love it. That's really yummy. Well, <sighs> spicy. Nice though. Really nice. I can see that that would work so well in a really good sandwich. You can see all the chunky bits in there. Does that look good to you? To some of you going, yuck, no. And some of you who are more gourmet are thinking, wow, that looks amazing. And it is. It's amazing. What's that bit of fruit there? Who knows? Let's investigate that. I'm trying to investigate what all the bits of fruit are and disgustingly picking them up out of the chutney. I think that was apple. Oh, wow. Spicy. It's got bits of apple in there as well. Wow. I did not know it was going to be that good. I love that. Does it go in a sausage roll? Kind of. Berenberg's Auntie Betty's, is it Auntie Betty? It's Auntie Nettie. Auntie Nettie's Raspberry Jam. Now I believe they make all kinds of jam like strawberry which is usually my favourite but today we're trying the raspberry jam and I'm going to try this on a crumpet. Auntie Nettie doesn't want me to get at her jam. That sounds wrong. <laughs> oh. Okay so there it is. Oh. Wow. Ooh. This is honestly, I think, one of the nicest jams I have ever had. It's absolutely delicious. It's the right amount of sweetness in there. And I'm not usually a big jam fan, but this is good. I love it. Time for a beverage break. And today I have a Farmer's Union iced coffee. I have heard rave reviews of this from people that live in Adelaide. I mean, how spectacular can an iced coffee be? Oh, good. There's someone staring at me. Hi. Hi, strangers. On the bottom here, it says reduced fat. I don't know if there's a full fat one out there. Let's open it up and have a look. I actually wouldn't have gone out of my way to get this unless I'd heard about it. The packaging of it is quite plain and simple. I don't know, what do you think of that packaging? Would you buy that if you saw it on the shelf? As opposed to other iced coffees you saw out there? That light is bad. I'll just hang on. That's better. And now you get to focus on this. Lucky you. Yeah, the colour of it looks quite nice. The question is, is this iced coffee the best iced coffee in Australia? I don't know. Cheers. It's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah, the flavouring is nice and rich and it's not too sort of fake tasting. You know how some iced coffees can taste weird and fake? The coffee flavour is quite nice and intense. Oh, yeah, I like it. I would get this again. It's really delicious. I have to admit, this is one of the nicer pre-made iced coffees that I've had. Wow, okay, now this is why they rave on about it. It is actually pretty good. Chocolate coated snakes. And I don't know if this is a huge thing in South Australia. Oops! Wow, look at these! To me, it's like they're in a cocoon of chocolate and they've been killed that way. As you can see, they're the different flavours. You've got your red ones, orange, you can see what colours there are. Usually I like my chocolate and my jelly things to be separate, but this might surprise me. Does that look appealing to you? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever had chocolate coated snakes? Like, not real ones. Maybe you have. Honestly, there's so many snakes and spiders here in Australia, we just coat them in chocolate and eat them. These are really nice. I love the jelly gummy snake inside. I like the chocolate. I just don't really know if I like them together. I want them separate. No. I usually like my chocolate and then my gummy jelly candies separate. Separate. Both the things in here are really nice. I can taste that this is all quite amazing, but I just want them separate. I know that's odd, but I do. Let me know how you feel about that. Here's a little company all the South Australian people might know. This is Haig's Chocolate. Haig's have a massive, great big range of different chocolates. They do have stores here in Sydney now, and I believe they're also going to other states. And that is because Haig's Chocolate is amazing. If not one of the best chocolates in Australia, I don't know, is it? Haig's Chocolate is quite expensive because it's more like a gourmet chocolate. My sister Corinne and her husband Jared purchased all these things for me when they were visiting family in South Australia last time. So I'm not quite sure what they got me. Oh, Hague Freckles. And this has already been open. My sister couldn't resist it and she already cracked the packet. So that lets you know how good they are. So as you can see, they're beautiful little freckles. Look at that little chocolate mound of goodness. And they're so pretty. So it's basically just chocolate with sprinkles on it. Whoa. 
That chocolate is amazing. I love it. It's creamy and smooth. I love the crispiness of the hundreds and thousands combined with that milk chocolate. It's delicious. And next up, I've got two Hague's frogs. So I've got this one, which is just a plain milk frog. How beautiful is this little chocolate frog? And it's got the Hague's name on it. I feel like I'm saying Hague's wrong. I keep wanting to say Hags. I hope I haven't been saying it wrong all along, but there's a possibility. Am I just saying it like an uncouth New South Walian? That's not a word. <laughs> Oops, I ripped the bag, doesn't matter. And this one is a peppermint frog. Beautiful. Oh no, I mixed them up. I don't know which one's which now. I'll find out. I think that's the milk chocolate. Wow. It's so good. I love Hague's chocolate. Yeah, that is just such a lovely, flavorsome chocolate. So let's try this one. Mmm. Flavored one is quite subtle actually. I was expecting it to have like oozy peppermint in the middle, but it's just got peppermint flavor all the way through it. Oh my gosh. These frogs are absolutely delicious. Now, Hayes actually make these massive, great big chocolate frogs as well. So if you got one of those massive, great big frogs, it would be like a chocolate lover's dream come true because that is how yummy this chocolate is. Yum. Oh my gosh, I'm on a chocolate high. <laughs> Next up, these ones are milk scorched almonds. Oh, I love almonds and I love chocolate. There they are in there, beautiful. I don't know what this is doing. I think it's trying to form a creepy love heart. <laughs> roasted to perfection and then they're covered with this amazing milk chocolate and I'm in love I seriously am so all up yes South Australia has a lot to be proud of with their sweets and treats I have relatives that live in South Australia and I always feel like they're classier than I am because they sound more British when they speak you never hear them say I'm putting on my cozies and going to the beach they say I'm wearing my bathers to the beach it sounds so proper there are different accents around Australia you think there aren't until you hear someone from another state and you go, what did you just say? Did you say dance? It's dance. Let me know in the comments below if you're from South Australia and what's your favorite South Australian treat. Thank you so much, Corinne and Jared, for getting me all of this stuff. Mwah. And if everyone could thank Corinne and Jared, because without them, this taste test would not be possible. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.